Extreme Outer Limits is presented by Night Force Optics. Precision optics for precision shooting. So there's three, he's in dead center, head down, at us. Okay, perfect, thank you. On the point of the shoulder, you guys ready? Dropped him. Beautiful. Oh my wow. gosh. Wow, that was awesome. Fabulous shot. You just got yourself a freaking doll, man. <laughs> Straight on. <laughs> Woo! Oh, yes. Just want to take a quick minute and plug QU. Uh, we never like, been on a sheep hunt, like I said, so we really didn't know how to even go about lining out our gear. Um, I'll kind of pass it to Chris. You did a lot of communicating with the guys over there at QU. Yeah, I, I talked to Brendan quite a few times about what to basically pack because, you know, you're limited on what you can bring. You're limited on what you can bring to your camp. And then obviously every day when you set out, you're going to hit you know, rain, sleet, snow, mm -hmm. uh, sun, and layering is extremely important. And this, this gear has worked really well for us, I would say, on this hunt. I think the thing that I've been most pleased with is uh, they set us up with the down sleeping bags, which was huge. Uh, I think down in this environment was really good. And the other thing is, uh, quite honestly, it's much colder than I felt like I packed for. And so we're using a lot of layers to stay warm, but I have been impressed with the fact that I've been able to put enough things in place that I have been warm and actually still been shedding layers on the hiking. Right. With what we're doing, we're staying in a tent in a in a camp and we're horsing every day and, and we don't take our up. sleeping bags out with us. Yep. Um, but our clothing has definitely seen every every season <laughs> out here. Yep. So I just wanted to give a big thanks to the QU boys. We got our sheep down and we're tearing camp down right now, getting ready to head out. We're gonna go find us some caribou country.
Holy Road all day. Got set up at our new camp uh, where we we're hoping to hunt some caribou out of and got it all set up and heck it's after 10 o'clock at night but that's how long it stays light here but anyway we're glassing before we go to bed and mm. several miles away we've got a group of caribou and there's definitely a couple bulls in it uh, way too far to tell if they're shooters or not but we got a couple bulls that's nice uh, positive note before we go to bed and get up tomorrow and maybe we'll go chase them This segment is brought to you by the Night Force NXS 5.5 to 22 rifle scope. Available in 50 and 56 millimeter objectives. Features the high speed zero stop, a 30 millimeter tube allowing for 100 minutes of adjustment and multi coated glass. Producing superb resolution at high magnification. The new Zeiss Victory RF laser range finding binocular provides you accurate ranges and ballistic corrections from 11 to 2,500 yards. A fully customizable ballistics platform, Bluetooth connectivity, and a phenomenal binocular all in a compact and lightweight unit. The new Zeiss Victory RF is EOL's range finder of choice. ago uh, yesterday we took it easy on the horses we just did kind of a river run just a flat walk out and back we didn't see a whole lot we've seen a couple grizzly bears well six grizzly bears I think it was sows and cubs mm -hmm. and then we did see a few caribou but nothing to nothing to get too excited about but we're back in this draw where we uh, had seen a lot of bulls mm -hmm. a couple days ago and from camp we can actually glass a portion of this and right at dark Jeez, it must have been 10.30 last night. Cody was able to spot a big group of 30, 40 head kind of a thing with some really good bulls in them. So we got up here. Now it's just a waiting game for the fog. Hopefully today's the day because if we get a caribou or two in the next today or the next couple of days, then we get to go on to moose. So I'm about ready for this chapter to end and the new, new one to begin. So hopefully we get lucky. This segment of Extreme Outer Limits was brought to you by the Extreme Shooting School, hosted by Bob Beck, an information-packed two-day class. For more information, go to ExtremeOuterLimitsTV.com. 
This segment is brought to you by the Extreme Store. For all your brass, bullets, and ammunition needs, head to extremestore.us. Introducing the Rugged Ridge Extreme Pod. With push-button side deployment legs, 360 degrees of rotation, and an indexing lever lock handle. The Rugged Ridge Extreme Pod is the most efficient and versatile long-range shooting platform ever created. Visit RuggedRidgeOutdoorGear.com for more information. The setup is really good. It's 408 yards. It's a really big bull, but I think with everything considered, Chris is really comfortable with this setup. So we're gonna get her behind the gun and just get this bull dead. Take your glove off. You ready? Shoulder behind the gun, good. Back down the throat, nice and steady, just a nice squeeze. Dead. Awesome shot. Absolutely phenomenal. <laughs> yeah. Good job. Oh, oh, <laughs> and the Awesome. Oh. Oh. Yeah. Well, that was a little such a bad freaking gun. <laughs> oh my god. Dude, that new rear rest is awesome. That was a little better setup than yesterday. <laughs> Thanks. Have you ever seen anything like that? Oh, I mean, honestly, that that was just like light switch off, done. Lights off. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! Well, Chris just killed a huge caribou, and I'm probably an idiot, but that's all right. Good job, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> you did it. I don't even know what to say. My face is so frozen. Yeah. You needed that. That was redemption that was for redemption that horrible setup that, last time oh we were God. on. So This is my kind of setup. <laughs> yeah, you put this woman behind a good setup, she is deadly. That was absolutely phenomenal. <laughs> yes, it does. And the hike the other day. God. All right, well. <laughs> Next time you see us, she'll be grabbing a giant set of caribou antlers. This segment of Extreme Outer Limits is brought to you by Benchmark Barrels, the rifle barrel of choice for long-range hunters, competition shooters, and sport shooters worldwide. Ask for one on your next rebarrel or custom rifle build. 
This segment of Extreme Outer Limits is brought to you by Kestrel Ballistics Weather Meters. The perfect match of long-range ballistics and environment. Get precision aiming solutions for your gun, your load, and your shot. <laughs> oh good? Yeah, we're good. We're good. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Come here. Come around here and look at him. It's like a whole different view. Oh wow. He is. That thing has some beams like a giant bull elk. As far as the mass goes. Yeah. Look at the shovel. Beautiful. So that's the shovel yep. and that's the best. Yep. He really fans out. Like that distance from there to there is really big. I gotta get in here to see this thing. <laughs> <laughs> you hold that thing. Well, look at what happens when you lift the thing up. That's a wow. Chris is as tall as you. That is awesome. <laughs> I think he's saying you're pretty tall, bud. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness. This is a mountain caribou. That is a big themed one. They live in sheep country. Seriously. Yeah. I mean, apparently they go their way up as here. high as they can. Yeah, they've, uh, they've been making this work for them. That's for darn sure. <laughs> this is a hard earned bull. Yeah, <laughs> I'm super pumped. I'm being a little quiet right now because I'm just taking it all in, but this is pretty awesome. That's a good one. We've done the barren ground thing before years ago. They're not near the size of frame no. or something like this. I mean, this is the, the body of these bulls too are is pretty. They're pretty intense, and like this is a big bull. That's a very big body bull. He's got really long bez. His shovel is that's an exception. Okay, does this and this? Yep. Yep. You betcha. And then sometimes you said that they get a double shovel. Yep. And they'll so they'll have one coming off each beam. Totally. And it's a genetic thing. Yep. Just. Growth and yet more, more genetics than anything. It's definitely starting to. Uh, yeah, yeah, get your pulmonation up here. His first and second longest comp points when you're scoring them Boone and Crockett wise. That is he cool. Will. I thought he, I th didn't know he had this, so he will get three circumference measurements. One of beams, one there, one there, and one there. Pretty. Darn cool. What do you what do you think? Something like this is uh This bull his beams are is what's amazing. Yeah. Um he's well over fifty inches on so those beams. What would you say age wise something like this is? He'd be seven. He's seven a seven he, yeah. He'd have to be. How long can they live in this country? Oh Greg, I I think you'd be hard pressed to find a ten year old. Really? Probably I mean it's hard living. Nine. Yeah, hard living is right. I mean, the sheep, I guess they break 10, but these guys typically are maybe a little more vulnerable to the predators being on the tundra as opposed to in the cliffs. Totally. So. But these, yeah, they do, believe it or not, travel down the rivers. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's a funny thing for everybody at home. He keeps telling us they travel on the rivers where the pack would be really nice. But the rivers are... The river is so far away, I don't even want to put a distance to it. Yeah. And about 1,500 vert down. <laughs> I don't know, realistically, how many vertical feet did we hike from the horses? Maybe a 1,000? Yeah, I, I would say over. A little over a 1,000? Yeah. So we've been doing that for the last couple hours, and then right when we hit that crest, which was our goal, that wind chill... I. I I was literally freezing. I was like, I, okay, I got it. Like, we're, we're going to do this. And 
I was trying to put on clothes so I could even help you. Right. Because I was <laughs> you couldn't even think. I just had the little wool shirt on is all I had, and I was freezing. It was like going to freeze to me. That's why I threw this on. Like, ooh, it's going to be cold. I, I ran the Kestrel, and because uh, the girls asked, it was 37 uh, for the static temp, but I think the wind chill was well in the 20s. Oh, wow. That's why it was so dang cold when we got there. Um, and that's why these bowls are up here. It have been in this little bit because it is. It's so cold. And they just love that, huh? Yep. Anything to get out of the flies. and Not that you'd think there is flies right now, but if you go low, I don't yeah. know if there's still mm -hmm. No, you're right. You, you got know, that, buddy? Go like this. There All you right. go. All right, okay. Now I'm wrapping this thing up because we have a lot of footage and we are out of time. <laughs> All right, so you see old Smiley over here with her caribou, so we're going to cut this episode and the adventure continues. Next week, hopefully, I'll be hanging my tag on one. <laughs> Extreme Outer Limits is brought to you by McMillan Stocks, Benchmark Barrels, Kestrel Ballistics Weather Meters, Night Force Optics, MOA Rifles.